my beautiful narc free family thank you for joining me here again today if you're new to my channel and you haven't already subscribed um, I'd be very grateful if you did subscribe and hit that bell uh, notification so you can receive uh, notifications every time a new video is posted so I am now working on a series on the smear campaign I recently finished a series on fuel uh, with HG Tudor's book and I'm now using um, and fueled by the way is supply I'm now using his book on the smear campaign um, I believe this will be the third the fourth video in this series okay so go and look for the other ones I'll leave links below so um, why are smear campaigns used? It is necessary for you to understand why the smear campaign is used. Whenever you understand the reasons why something is said or done, it enables you to deal with it in a much more effective way. It is akin to being involved in a physical fight with somebody. If you cannot see them, it is that much harder to fight them. By preventing you from understanding why we do things, we make it feel like you are fighting an invisible opponent. You do not know where the next blow might be coming from. The confusion, bewilderment, and lack of comprehension exist throughout much of your entanglement with us. Indeed, ensuring you do not understand what is happening to you forms a huge part of why our manipulation manipulations are so effective so when you're not familiar with the smear campaign it can be very devastating and for you all who have watched the movie the invisible man you'll notice how um how he sabotaged her and how she never knew what was coming but she was always um anxious and no one um People thought that she was crazy in the movie because it seemed like it wasn't making any sense. But she knew what he was doing to her psychologically because he had been doing it to her at home. And now she'd gotten away. I don't want to tell you the whole movie, but I believe that that is a good uh, movie to watch for when you're thinking about what he's talking about right here about having blows um, coming at you and you don't know where they're coming from or why they're coming okay so he goes on to talk about the uh, people that they targets so there's the defective supplementary source is one of the people that gets targeted for the smear campaign a defective person is also subjected to a smear campaign as a consequence of the need to punish them for failing to accord with their chosen role. So if you get out of line, they have a position for you, and you're not playing your part, you can get smeared. Furthermore, it sends out a clear sign, I'm sorry, clear signal to the balance of our supporters that should you ever cross us, fail us, or speak out against us as this dismenter has done then you can expect the same treatment so <laughs> they're little flying monkeys who are with them should they even find out that the narcissist is a narcissist and that they are lying they've already seen what they've done to other people so they know what they have coming to them so they'll be fearful to um, expose them to people because they don't want a smear campaign run on them the troublemaker is the next one. So number two is the troublemaker. A smear campaign is used against the troublemaker in order to isolate the individual. Let's see. The troublemaker is someone we have to deal with because they are either affiliated through you as a primary source or they are an add-on and we have no option other than to tolerate their presence so take for instance that you have a friend <laughs> that friend will be considered an add-on and if they get out of hand or they start talking to the narcissist or I'm sorry talking about the narcissist to you and uh, your friend comes back to you and says hey I don't believe this is a good person for you I don't believe they mean you well and then you go back and tell the narcissist your friend's concerns, that friend can get a smear campaign run on them so that they can break up your relationship to them. 
because them getting involved creates a problem for the narcissist because you may start to wake up out of the deep sleep that the narcissist has you in and see that they're nothing. But if they can cut that person off by running a smear campaign, then they can continue to manipulate and agitate you, okay? Which is what they want to do. Let's see. There are various degrees of this, but ultimately they will not embrace our seduction and fall in with the spell we have cast over you and others thus they are marked out as a troublemaker okay i'm a troublemaker because now that i know about narcissistic abuse and when i see a girlfriend of mine going through something i call it out and then if if they're sleeping <laughs> and they can't see it, I wait by the side until they wake up because you can't really wake people up if they don't want to see what's happening, okay? Um, and uh, you don't want the narcissist to come between you all where you can't even help them once they wake up. So you have to be careful um, that you don't let the narcissist get between you and a friend who is going to need your help when the narcissist gets done with them, okay? The smear campaign is also unleashed against the troublemaker to prevent them from derailing the seduction. That's what I was just talking about. Our seduction of you is intense and powerful, but in its early stages, as we are sinking our hooks into you, there is a risk that you may be persuaded to examine our motives in a clearer fashion. You may be shown the multitude of red flags which are flying and therefore be able to evade us. We do not like to lose. We do not like our carefully prepared and orchestrated seductions to fail. Remember now, narcissists um, are on a mission to conquer people and they have conquests and, um, you know, they're trying to get clout. So they're looking for the cream of the crop. Uh, type of people to fuel them very smart talented people beautiful people um, people who can help them with their career and things of that nature so they don't want a troublemaker coming in and and uh, messing this up the smear campaign is also used to draw fuel from this troublemaker next you have the predecessor the smear campaign against the predecessor is also used for a positive reason in respect of you as the new prospect. By making out that the predecessor is some jealous, crazed creature, you will be bound to us more tightly for fear of the malicious attacks which may arise from the predecessor. You are likely to feel sorry for us after hearing the nature of the smear campaign. For example, we will often claim the predecessor was abusive and therefore the sympathy that gushes from you is not only wonderful fuel for us, it also means that you want to be with us, make us happy, protect us, and keep us away from such a horrible person. Thus, the smear campaign is used not only to prevent damage to the seduction, but it is also used for the purposes of maximizing the success of the seduction too. So this is when they come with that victim story, okay? And so that you won't listen to someone if they come trying to expose you because they've already run a smear campaign on the person before you. So if you come trying to say, um, or that person before you comes trying to talk to you and warn the new supply, they've already run such a great smear campaign and they've got them so entrenched in their world of foolishness that uh, the person can't see that you're not crazy and that you are trying to help them, okay? Therefore, it becomes necessary to smear them again, this time as part of a predecessor smear. This double dose of smearing will result in the target proving particularly emotional in his or her responses. <laughs> so they've already smeared this person. Now they smear them again. Of course, they're going to be frazzled, so it's going to make them look crazy, which is the narcissist's goal with the smear campaign to make the person they're smearing look crazy, absolutely foolish. Um, and people can't tell that the person that's real calm when they're talking is the one that is the manipulator, is the one that's toxic. They're talking so calmly about all this trauma that they say that they've suffered 
because they really haven't suffered any trauma. They are really the predator, all right? Your importance as the primary source. Okay, he's um, going on to the fourth person they smear is the primary source. Your importance as the primary source means that the disappointment that follows when you fail to function as required results in your smear being fiercer and more hurtful than the other types. So he says, firstly, there's a risk that following your discard, you may damage the facade by trying to tell everyone what we're like. I'm just skimming through this, so this is not all that he says about it, but I just want to give you a little overview. I highly recommend this book, okay? Secondly, the smear seeks to squeeze those last drops of fuel from you as we um, denigrate you further. <laughs> Thirdly, there is an element of punishment which arises especially from the greater of our kind. For those of you who, who are not aware of this, um, narcissism is on a spectrum and um, the higher up you go on the spectrum for narcissism the, so you have the the lower narcissist the lower level ones then you have the mid-range then you have the greater so he's saying that the greater ones um, let me see he says uh, there is an element of punishment which arises especially from the greater of our kind where their smear is trying to punish you all right they really are trying to destroy you if you're dealing with a malignant narcissist they are going to try to dismantle you and have you in an insane asylum i promise you um I am a survivor of narcissistic abuse for those of you who do not know and um so I have firsthand knowledge on the greater um, narcissist. So fourthly, the smear campaign is used as an instrument of control. Fifthly, the smear campaign is an extremely useful primer for a Hoover. The devaluation and its continuing effects, the nature of the discard, and the recent maybe ongoing smear campaign those are three points he makes under the fifth one so um then there's the stigmatized individual um the use of the smear campaign against this individual as i have mentioned above usually being a family member given the length of time the smearing takes place over and the fact wait a minute time the smearing takes place over and the fact that the victim has little or no chance of escaping it since he or she is a child um, and also often he or she has no idea it is being done during its application the key reason why a smear campaign is used against the victim are as follows um, a projection of the narcissist's own failings and insecurities the need to exert control over the victim by creating a ver reverse facade um, the provision of fuel, uh, the creation of an entrenched and difficult to destroy smear, um, and providing a contrast for the narcissist to elevate and loud a relative of the victim. Uh, this allows the narcissist greater control over the family dynamic by applying a divide and conquer approach using the smear campaign as the main method of achieving this so um, that's all I'm gonna go over today for this video so you can see the people that they smear um, for those of you who haven't already subscribed I would love for you to subscribe go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you have liked it and you can look down below for resources either in the description box or under this video um, in the comments section um, thank you so much for joining me again today bye bye my beautiful narc free family Mwah.